So the second part of the recovery work is going to involve what we call myofascial release. And I'm not going to go too much in depth with this, um, that you know, there's a lot of information out there regarding myofascial release. And one of the primary websites I would really, really recommend you going to check out is a website called Mobility Wad for workout of the day. And uh, this is run by a gentleman called Kelly Starrett. I'll put the link in the description. He has some fantastic books and um, videos out regarding how to do myofascial release and stretching for absolutely any situation, okay? So going into the myofascial release part, we're gonna use two tools, potentially the bands as well, but the two tools is gonna to be a lacrosse ball. Um, this is actually not a lacrosse ball. This is a really hard spiky ball. I prefer this because it gets into the muscles a little bit better than a, a round lacrosse ball, but a lacrosse ball is perfectly fine for what you need. Um, and a foam roller as well. So a foam roller you can get pretty cheap. I'll put links in the description regarding where to get this stuff and how to get it. Um, but these things are gonna be very, very valuable to you for any recovery work you do. So the first one we're gonna look at again is the shoulder for myofascial release. And what we're gonna do is use the lacrosse ball on the shoulder, okay? So first things first, you want to lie down on your back and you're gonna place the lacrosse ball under the back of the shoulder here, okay? And now what you can do is lean onto it and you can start rolling around small circles on the back of that shoulder. And you're gonna feel that there's real tender point right there and you stay there, you hang out there and enjoy the release from the lacrosse ball. The second method that you can use for the same position is if you put your arm out and you don't move the shoulder, all you're going to do is move the arm down and up. And you're really gonna feel that a lot on the back of the shoulder. Okay, so we're focused on the back of the shoulder. So now we're gonna have a look at the front of the shoulder, okay, and also the chest. So these two parts you can kind of do uh, in one go. And again, it's very similar. You're gonna place the lacrosse ball on the floor, so I'll face the other way, and you're going to uh, place it on the chest here, and you're gonna roll around all the way across to the shoulder and onto the chest, okay? So again, we'll lie down under the chest, and from here, you can roll around and onto the shoulder and back. If you find a really tender point, just hang out there see if you can find a knot. This is really gonna help kind of release that tension. Next one up, we're actually gonna help the range of motion of your arms, okay? So what we're going to do again is use the band here. So you connect it up to a bar or something that you have that you can connect it to. And all you're going to do is you're gonna grab the, the, the band and you're going to bend over from the hip. So don't let the, the back do the work, keep your back straight bend from the hip and this is going to help pull your arms up and it's going to start increasing the range of motion in your shoulders. So the more you can dip down, keep your back straight, the more it's going to help bring your arms up. Next up, we're going to again look at the lats, so those primary muscles. We're going to use the foam roller now. So this time, we place this on the floor. And again, we want to target those lats on the side. So what we can do is lie down on our side and just focus on getting that foam roller under the rib cage and onto the muscle. Now, you're going to have to turn away a little bit. The more you come onto the side, the more you're going to be hitting your QL and your rib cage. What you want to do is come across slightly to the back and you can roll up and down. Another thing to think about is if you want to, if you bring your arms across your chest like this, what this does is it kind of tightens the tissue on your back and your flesh, and it means that you can really target those muscle groups a little bit more and a little bit better. As an extra little point, if you feel that on your lats the foam roller is not hitting them quite in the right places and you feel that you're not getting everywhere, 
Don't forget you can use your lacrosse ball. Again, this is gonna allow you to target a much smaller area. And again, you can just lie on your back and use the ball to roll around and find those tight knots that you want to kind of release it out and just hang out and spend some time in those. So finally, we're gonna go full circle and come back to the forearms. Again, we can use the lacrosse ball for this. Just get down onto your knees and you just place the ball down and you're gonna put your weight onto the ball with your forearm and then use the other hand to apply more pressure and you can just roll up and down like that. So there you have it for the recovery work. Don't neglect the recovery. Stretching and myofascial release is absolutely essential. And it means that you're gonna be able to train for longer. It means you can get back into that second session quicker. The fatigue is gonna go quicker. And also it means that you're gonna be injury free for a lot longer.